Hey guys, Scott here. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to manage module positions. Now in Joomla, a module is basically a block of code. So this newsletter here is a module. This main menu here is a module. This set of links here is a module. And if we come over to our sample site, the login forum is a module. Polls section here is a module. The who's online bit, they're all modules. Joomla is made up of blocks of modules that add functionality to the site. So we want to learn how to change the positions of the modules, what pages they show on, and basically just changing some settings of each of the modules. We first log into Joomla, the administration side of Joomla, which is at yoursite.com forward slash administrator. Once logged in, you want to come up to the extensions here and click module manager. Managing modules is actually pretty easy. Okay, so here's the list of the modules installed at the moment. And you'll see that there's two pages of them. You can display all the modules at once, which I'll do now, but or you could just click next page and skip through the pages to find different ones. So here's a list of all the modules currently installed. And you'll be able to tell which ones are actually active at the moment from this enabled column. If it's a green tick, it means that is it active and that module's enabled. If there's a red cross, it's not. And then there's the access level for who can see it. Public means everyone can see it. And if this one says registered, it means only people that are logged in can see it. Okay, so let's have a look at the front page again. And you'll see the polls here. Say we wanted to move that to be over this side and also in between login form, login form and the main menu. Okay, so we'll come back here. That was the poll, which are here. Now all you need to do is select polls. So click on the actual text. And this will load the module settings for this polls module. So here, here is the details, which determines whether the poll, uh, whether the module, which in this case is the poll, is enabled, whether the title's showing, where it's what position it's in and the order it's in in that position. So the title, you can change the title here, which is the title here. So whatever you change here will change, whatever you change for the title here will change the name of the module on the front end. So I'm gonna leave that to polls and you can choose whether to show the title or not. So I'm just gonna leave that set to yes. So you can turn that off and then it won't show the title if you turn that off and if you Change enabled here to no, it means it'll disable that module and won't show at all. Now the position, this is where you get to choose the positioning of the module on your page. At the moment, it's set to the right position. And you can see that that is in the right column. So we want to switch it to the left position, so it's in the left column. So we just change the position. Now you'll notice there's a lot of positions. We just want left. Every template for Joomla will have a different uh, positions and they'll be called different things, but usually they're pretty easy to figure out where they are on the page. So I wanted to go on the left. So now let's click apply and see what that does. Okay, so if I come back to here and refresh our main page, the home page, you'll notice the poll is gone from here and you'll notice it's actually gone from this side as well. So I'm just gonna come back in here and have a look at the settings and it went from enabled it's which to no, so I'm going to switch that to enable and click apply. And refresh this page again. Okay, now you'll see it's actually in the proper spot now that we wanted it to be in between main menu and login form. Now let's say we did want to move that underneath the login form. So we come back into the settings here. And the order is where you can change it. So at the moment, it's got the main menu, then the polls, and then these other ones are disabled. But these are all the modules that are actually set to display in the left column. And the login form is down here. So what we want to do is choose the one underneath the login form. And now click apply. Now what that should do is move the positioning of the polls module in the left-hand column underneath the login 
module. So I refresh this page and it did just that. So you'll see it's moved down. Now that list you saw here, there's a lot there because of the sample data that's installed. Now, I've actually got most of it disabled, so the only three that are actually enabled are the main menu, login form, and polls. So if you did a fresh install of Joomla, there would actually be nothing there until you actually installed modules to put into that column. So that's how you edit the positioning of the module. Now let's look at what pages you want it to show on. So see, the polls are there at the moment, but let's say I choose this item here you'll see the polls and the login forms actually gone and there is no column here at the moment. That's because you can choose what pages each module sh are shown on. So if we come back into the settings for the poll, let's say we wanted this on every single page. This menu assignment determines what pages the polls are actually shown on or this module is actually shown on. At the moment, you can see it's only got the home selected. Say you wanted to select only a few pages from the main menu you just hold down control on your keyboard and click on the other ones you want it to show on. So now, if I went to any of those pages from the main menu, the poll would be shown on the um, underneath the menu on the left there. But let's say I wanted the poll to be shown on every single page. All, I, all you do is click all here, and then it will actually select everything. So if I apply that, now if I refresh this again, the poll should appear here, and it does. And now that poll will be on every single page in that position. So that's how you set what pages the menus are assigned to. Now let's just, let's save this or close it. Cancel or save, either one will do it. But if you save it, if you changed any settings before your last save, click save. But if you haven't, you can click cancel. I'll just click save anyway. So that's how you manage your module positions and what pages the modules are shown on. Now if you wanted to make a new module, say you installed a new extension for Joomla that is a module and you wanted to display that module on your page. All you do is click new here and there'll be a list of all the different types of modules you can actually choose. If you installed a new module, that'll be added to this list. Let's say you wanted to add in a module that shows the most read content on your website. So what that would do is add in a module like this, but instead of saying polls, you'd name it yourself and it'd just have a list here of the most read pages of your website. So all you do is tick the circle beside this, or you can click it directly and click next. And now you can name the title. I'm going to name it just most Red articles. Um, show title, yes. I wanted to show the title. Enabled, yes. Position. I'm going to throw this in the right column. Because if I look at this page, there's nothing in the right column at the moment. So let's say I wanted that to be on every single page in the right column. So I'd leave that set to all. And then there's some settings you can change. Now you can change how many articles are actually displayed in this module. I'm just going to leave it set to 5 because I don't want more than that. So now I'm going to leave set to show. Now I'll click apply. So this should save the article and activate it. So now if I refresh this page, this should appear in the left hand column here and it does. And now it'll list the most read articles in order. So Joomla overview is the most read article on this Joomla site at the moment. And as other pages are read more and the order changes, these will change with that order. So that's basically all there is to modules.